Hello, Virgo. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. It's going to be a general reading that you may be dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, Drop the Free Tarot, because read you as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Hmm. What a way to start. Oh, geez. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, jumping into this. Um, Virgo, you're asking about you're immediately Virgo. You're showing me third party energy, as in third party. It literally could be a party, a social event, a gathering. It could be friends, social group, networking. Um, we'll kind of see where this goes, though. So jumping into this right away, because I'm getting multiple Virgos asking about different situations, and I'm looking at them all. They're very, very uneasy. They're they're very uneasy. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this jokingly, but also very lightly. Um, so it's just a joke. It's just a joke. Um, it's almost like an end of the world party. Something is closing. Something's finishing itself up. And they are very besides themselves about this. And Virgo, I kind of feel like you are just kind of showing up, just watching things unfold. Um, I don't exactly know what's going on, but it almost kind of seems and it feels like who are, you are dealing with two people, Virgo, and for some reason, the first person, I kind of feel like you may live with them. So it may be under the same, you know, roof or household or living situation, but they are clearly focused on you and they don't know exactly what's going on. Um, it, it's an overall energy of lots of confusion. I mean, beyond confused, feeling a little bit stuck, trapped. I don't know if this is cabin fever or what. But they are allowing their thoughts to kind of wander and have thoughts about, well, maybe there's, they want to throw a party, then maybe they want to grab a drink, drink responsibly, be responsible. Um, I will say that if this is a party or drinking, that it's making them, well, a little bit lazy regarding their work ethic and what they're working on. Even though they show me such a strong energy, um, <clears throat> this could be addictions as well. It could be. I kind of feel like if this is a, you know, a drinking thing, immediately they're having their, you know, their conscience kick in, Jiminy Cricket, and saying, you know what, maybe I do have a problem. But um, there's always tomorrow to start again, which is kind of energetic what they're showing me, which I'm kind of, you know, understandable. You know, it's true. You're not wrong. Um, at the same time, this is where things begin to kind of switch. Um, this is when that third party energy shows up. Emotionally speaking, they know they kind of have to pace themselves and do what they got to do to keep their balance. But at the same time, they're also kind of like saying, you know what, they're keeping something going. <clears throat> but a split second later, 
They're like, yeah, I don't even care. And so they're just kind of saying, you know what, something's got to change. Interesting. It's almost like they make the decision to care, and then all of a sudden it's like, yeah, well, I cared, I cared enough. I cared long enough. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. They show me, I don't understand that. They, they show me that, and then it... What? This is a little strange. They're showing me 777. Um, they're making a decision here, and that's what's fascinating is whether it's a friend group or whether it's something more, because they're showing me both. They're showing me friend group, but they're also showing me like, it's geez. It seems like initially it's like they, they want this connection or this friendship with you, Virgo, but they're also kind of saying it's just it's just so much. It's just too much. And they find themselves like curious and wondering and wondering as to like what you know what geez, what they truly want to where they're truly at emotionally speaking. But then, then they realize like, okay, well what's gonna happen? So they're having the clarity that their situation isn't getting any easier. Um, and I, once again, I feel like there's something going on financially speaking for them that is weighing so heavily on them besides the connection that they're kind of trying to juggle here and make do with the circumstances and everyone involved, but they're finding out very quickly. They have to come up with some sort of solution here because they're saying, you know what? Work, 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 work. I need to be fully 100% mentally and emotionally on board with my work and my finances because things aren't very good right now. Um, but let's just kind of move forward and figure this out. It's like, okay. Well, there you are, Virgo. So here's the thing. Once again, they present yourself very clearly, which makes this very easy. Um... Oh, goodness, Virgo. Oh, goodness. Who's I was going to say, who's fed up with who? Because, goodness gracious, who's fed up with who? Um, someone's fed up with someone. makes zero sense like the yeah it's cheese it's like that's arctic monkey song crawling back to you oh jeez 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 um how do i say this virgo crawling back to you their financial situation they are definitely getting perspective and clarity but that's what's interesting is they're making it your problem there's definitely some sort of conflict that they're creating and starting with you and that's what's interesting. It's almost kind of like, how is Virgo the problem? When, you, you know, you're you're doing what you're doing. How is Virgo the problem? Because again, Virgo, you, you present yourself like, well, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm willing to, you know, help. I'm willing to give the situation anywhere I possibly can. But then they want to fight you. And they want to fight you just to determine whether or she's... Then they want to determine like whether or not the two of you actually can be something more, like more committed. I feel like they're choosing to let you go, Virgo. And this is what's fascinating is they're choosing, get this, they're, they're trying to figure out if I cut Virgo loose, I'll just sit here and wait to be happy, single. It shows up. But then they have a realization and are running with their conscience again that is putting them through their own torment. And now they're having the realization of, ooh, I fucked up. I let Virgo go, and I realized later on, I learned that lesson, I fucked up. Now they're stressing the hell out. They don't know what the future holds for them. 
They're trying to crawl back to you, Virgo, to get this. Make things right, and they're not even fucking genuine about it. This is what you call stringing someone along and breadcrumbing someone. They know they fucked up, and that's why they're crawling back to you. Because they want to... Jeez Louise. I'll hold myself back from this one, Virgo. I'll hold myself back from this one. Yeah, and you show up like, yeah, no bullshit. <laughs> oh, you you changed, Virgo. You, you're showing up different. Um, yeah, there, there's masculine Virgos and there's feminine Virgos asking. That's why it's a little bit choppy. Yeah, they're, they're, they're having a look again. And that's what's so very interesting. They want They want peace of mind for them. They want peace of mind for them, but even then they still don't have peace of mind. Ain't that some shit? Not on your terms, Crosswatcher. Just because you're going through your own mental hell doesn't mean you can crawl back to Virgo, make things right when you're bullshit, and then be like, okay, I'm all better now. And it's kind of like at Virgo's expense. Fuck you. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone Virgo, you could be dealing with an air sign, an earth sign, a fire sign, or a water sign. Goodbye.